Hi and welcome back to Broken Sword. I hope you're enjoying the story so far. Let's get straight into the second episode and see if we can manage to find out any more info about this killer clown. We need to go and see our journalist friend. Remembering the flower seller's advice, I pushed the door gently just above the lock. Mm -hmm. That didn't seem very gentle to me. Oh, hey. Wow, nice house. Bonjour. I'm glad you can make it, monsieur. Mm -hmm. Please, call me George. Fine. I'm Nicole. Take a seat, George. I think we've made a friend in all of this. Eh bien? And what have you been up to? I've been exploring the sewers <laughs> beneath the cafe. I thought I could smell something <laughs> bad. The clown used the sewer to escape and to change out of his costume. Mm -hmm. I guess he was in a hurry. He left his jacket behind. And? I got his tailor's phone number. He had better luck than I did. <laughs> yeah. Luck, she said. Luck! <laughs> Hard work, I'd call it. What happened? I took my photographs to the editor, but he wasn't interested. Oh. Can you believe it? He told me to drop the story. Hmm. But you're not about to do that. Oh, no. I am going to find out what's behind these killings. You know what I think? It's a conspiracy. Hmm. The police in three different countries have kept very quiet about the murder. The press nice. don't connect them at all. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. Well, that covers just about everyone. Mm. Right, so I wonder why the editor says to not run the story. That is kind of weird, though. How did Plantow get your name? Well, the newspaper, La Libité, had written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in oh. Italy and the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. Mm. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantow said he could supply me with more information. Nice. Somehow, so the clown him. must have known about our appointment. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the clown's previous victims. The first was Arnaud Belota, the millionaire pharmaceutical baron. Mm -hmm. He made his money from amphetamines in the post-war slimming and diet boom. <laughs> Imagine it! Millions of housewives <laughs> literally spitting their butts off. Was he killed for his money? No. He had no living relatives, mm. and his fortune went to the orphanage where he grew up. The only witness in the case was his Filipino au pair. Okay. She swears he was led to his death by a snowman. <laughs> It sounds like this guy likes to dress up this clown or something. What about the clown's second victim? Yamada, the controversial Japanese green politician. He inherited his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. Mm -hmm. He was committed to dismantling Japan's automobile industry. I can't see him gaining much support with a loony policy like that. Yamada was a man of vision. He was years ahead of his time. If you say so, how did he die? At the end, or should I say, flippers of a giant emperor penguin. Okay. A snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. Right. You know, I hate to admit it, but this is scary. And I'll tell you what, I won't be accepting <laughs> any invitations to costume parties. I don't blame you for being scared. I am too. Hmm. This story could be my only chance of a big break. Or a premature death. I have to wonder, is the clown behind the other two killings, or is the clown someone that the killer hired to do it? You speak very good English for a French girl. Thanks. You speak very <laughs> good English from America. <laughs> I found this false nose. It says La Rite du Monde. Masks and costumes. It's a oh. costume shop near the Gare Saint-Lazare. I'll nice. check it out. Maybe the owner remembers who hired the clown costume. Why don't you put it on, Joe? <laughs> what? No way am I wearing <laughs> this. I'd look really stupid. Besides, he might have had a cold. <laughs> yeah. If the dirty tissue is anything to go by. This is the tool I use to get into the sewers. Fascinating, George. <laughs> You're not interested, are you? Oh, of course I am. I think it was very brave of you to go down those sewers. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Well, it was kind of scary, but... Well, I had a job to do. <laughs> I like him. He's trying to show off. I found a piece of material near the cafe. 
When I showed it to the concierge, he recognized it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Mm. Just wait until you see this. I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Oh. Here, George, it's an enlargement I made. It's gonna have the jacket in it. Look what that guy's wearing. Checkered pants. The oh. same material as I found in the sewer. <laughs> That's right. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. Oh, no? Take a close look at his left cheek. Okay. A scar in the shape of a horseshoe. Oh, a crescent moon. We are definitely getting closer now. How come you enlarged this photograph of me? <laughs> because I noticed the guy behind you, of course. <laughs> mm-hmm. I found this tissue down the sewer. <laughs> Ew, nobody cares. Oh, God, that's disgusting, Georges. <laughs> I think the stuff on it is grease paint, oh. like actors use, or clowns. Okay. It's still disgusting. Get rid of it. It is still disgusting, I know. Tell me more about yourself. Oh, there is not much to tell. Well, how did you get into photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought my first camera. I was eight and my parents had just split up. Did you live with your father? Yes, my mother went off with her new boyfriend. <laughs> I don't mind. Papa was all I needed. Four years later, he died in a plane oh. crash. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Well, it's all right. Mm. I don't mind talking about him. He was more like an older brother, really. Always joking and laughing. Papa always wanted I should study art. That's why I went to college. Okay. Did you learn about photography at college? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I couldn't afford the materials. We were billed for everything we used. Paint, canvas, paper. <laughs> Most of my year turned to minimalism. It was cheaper. I used to go poaching in the park <laughs> for squirrel hair. Okay. The only time I wasn't hungry was the term I did printing. I used to eat the potatoes. <laughs> You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh, no. Wow. She's had a really difficult upbringing. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> That's none of your business. <laughs> He's a bit forward. May I use your telephone? Sure. Go ahead. Thanks. Let's see if we can call this Taylor again. Hello? Who is this? Ah. Uh. Did you make a suit for a man with a scar on his face? A scar in the shape of a crescent moon? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Tell me where I can find him and I'll leave you alone. And if I he don't, won't. I won't leave you alone. <laughs> I can't tell you anything unless you give me his name. I don't know. Do you know where I can find the guy with the scar? I told you. Without a name, I can't help you. Damn, okay. Thanks for nothing, Todd. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to find this guy's name. I'm going back out to search for that clown. Yeah. Where? Well, I guess I could visit the costume shop. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Okay. That's a good place to start. I'd like to examine her room. These guys are going to get together, right? Of course. Oh, hi. Hello, my handsome friend. <laughs> Let's see if this old bag knows anything of this guy. Do you recognize guy. the man in this photograph? Mm, what a hunk. <laughs> He's a killer. I can see that. His eyes <laughs> say it all. Is she looking at me or the guy in the background? Do you recognize the man in this photo? No. Well, we need to head to that costume shop. I think this is the costume shop. I have still haven't been to the police station. I'm not sure whether to go to the costume shop or the police station first. I am more interested in the costume shop, I have to say. Oh, I like it. As my fingers closed on the plastic novelty, I realized my mistake. <laughs> Is it real? It was a novelty, all right, but it wasn't plastic. What? Is that real? No way was I going to touch that thing again. What the hell? Okay, that's nice. <laughs> As I was about to touch the dummy, I realized it had the same color eyes as Nico. 
The strange thing was, I hadn't realized I'd noticed the color of Nico's eyes. <laughs> Clown costume. I gave the dummy Puro a tentative prod, but it didn't move. Hmm. All right, let's talk to this guy. Excuse me. Bonjour, monsieur. Please, come in. Welcome. Leave the mundane world behind, for in these four walls, fantasy is king. Uh, I don't want a costume. <laughs> Didn't you ever dress up when you were a child? Not that I remember. Oh, Incredible. wow. You'll be telling me next that you never shared your elder sister's lingerie? <laughs> okay. I don't have a sister, and I think I'd look pretty silly in a brassiere. <laughs> I just need some information. Of course. How can I help you? Oh, I've got so many things to ask him. I'm looking for a man who hired a clown costume from you. Oui, monsieur. I do not see how I can help. Don't you keep a record of costumes that you've rented out? Of course, monsieur, but... Uh... Well, then, I'd like to check your records. Hey, Give me the names of everyone who's rented a clown suit. Impossible. There are too many. Damn. The clown I'm looking for is a cold-blooded killer. Give me his name. And I'll see he's brought to justice. I'd help you if I could, but you can't expect me to remember all my customers. Mm. You see, the clown costume is our most popular line, monsieur. On average, we hire out more wow. than 30 clown suits a week. Wow. You'll have to give me more to go by. A description, perhaps? Well, I do have another photo. How come clowns are so popular? I think it has something to do with their unpredictable nature. Personally, I think clowns <laughs> should be banned, along with mimes. Oh, come now. Who doesn't love clowns? Me. Me, for one. Mm -hmm. I don't like clowns either. Have you heard of a man named Plantile? I do not recall anyone of that name. Okay, let's show him this picture. Do you recognize this man? Ah, we. Oui? He was here this morning. Wow. Okay. Nice. That's the guy. Are you sure this is the man who bought grease paint? Oui, monsieur. Okay, grease paint? Where did that come from? With this tissue? Does this dirty tissue mean anything to you? Hmm. Let me smell oh, that. Yuck. It's got the grease paint on it. Best Imer's number seven, white pancake. Theatrical grease paint, mm -hmm. right? Oh, oui, monsieur. La creme de la creme of Cespian accoutrement. Have you sold any of it recently? Yes, two can. Right. Are you sure this is the. Oui, monsieur. He chose two costumes. Oh. Bozo the clown and Seamus the pixie. A pixie? Very smart. Green silk with a uh, taffeta lining. Okay. He gave me his name <gasps> as Monsieur Khan. What? I've got his name now? Are you sure this is the same man who hired the clown suit? Certainement, Whoa. Monsieur Khan. Beautiful. I've got his name. Oh, this is amazing. Thanks for your help, buddy. My pleasure, Monsieur. Fantastic. Allow me to shake you by the hand. Huh? Uh, well, oh, okay. he's got a butter there. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. What are you trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> you did not find it amusing? I never saw the funny <laughs> side of electroshock therapy. Eh bien, it is yours to keep. A gift? Do I need a license? No, but I give you a word of warning, monsieur. Mm -hmm. What? Remember to switch it off <laughs> before you visit the toilet. Thanks for that. <laughs> hmm. All right, we know this guy's name. It's so cool. I'm going to go back to I'm going back to the uh, Nicole's house to use her telephone. Hello, Josh. What news? Mm -hmm. Good news. I've been to the costume shop. Very good news. We know the guy's name. Monsieur Khan. Yeah, I like it. What are you supposed to be? <laughs> I didn't hire a costume. <laughs> These are my clothes and you know it. Did you ask about the clown? Of course. Yeah. He used the name K 
con. He hired two costumes, mm. the clown and a pixie. Then we're one jump ahead of him. Yes. How do you make that out? He probably plans to use the pixie suit mm -hmm. next time he kills. Yes. Oh, God, don't let it be me. <laughs> I don't deserve to die at the hands of a pixie. <laughs> don't be silly, George. That won't happen. Are you sure? Oh, no? No, because every time you see a pixie, you're going to run like hell. <laughs> I... Oh, look, we can shake her hand with a buzzer, should I? The guy at the novelty shop gave me this. What is it? A hand buzzer. Oh, you put it in your hand I thought it was going to trick her. And give people electric shocks. Why? It's a gag. A practical joke. <laughs> if you ever use it on me, I'll break <laughs> your arm. Okay, okay. I get the picture. <laughs> I want to, though. Hey, Nico, shake hands <laughs> with me. No chance, Buster. Aw, we should have just tricked her. What are you doing to help trace the killer clown? Research, George. Yeah? <laughs> you have a copy of the clown's yearbook? I have a telephone and lots of contacts. Oh. Well, did you find anything useful? Not yet. I'm employing my first and most useful weapon. Mm -hmm. What's that? Patience. Patience. Oh, I've heard of that. <laughs> Isn't it a substitute for decisive thinking? See, he's not really a killer clown. He's just a killer in full stop, you know? He's a killer in costume. Have you found out any more about the murders? Well, it may be nothing, but both the clan's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. Oh, okay. They were both here at the same time. Did they meet? I don't know, hmm. but I can't imagine it was coincidence. Okay, something. Okay, let's call May up I the use tailor. Your telephone? Sure, go ahead. Thanks. Let's see what this guy says about Khan. Hello? Who is this? I found out the name of the guy I'm looking for. Is that so? Yeah. It's Khan. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, I delivered the suit to his hotel. The Hotel so... Ubu. Uh, I uh, don't remember the room number. It was upstairs. upstairs. The second room on the right-hand nice. side of the corridor. Thanks, Todrick. That's all I wanted to know. Second room on the right. Now I've got you, Mr. Clown. Oh, yes. We are so close now. We need to go. Now we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. Do you know the Hotel Ubu? The Ubu? Yes, I do. That's where the clown stayed. Mm -hmm. Good work, George. We need to go. See you later. Where are you going now? I could go hang out at the Hotel Ubu. Watch out for Khan, George. <laughs> Don't worry, I will. I definitely think that going to the hotel is the next logical step, though I also know that I haven't been to the police station. I think it might be worth going to the police station just to see. That guy's in his office now. Maybe they will have some more info for me. Excuse me. Ah, Monsieur Stobart, n'est ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is mm -hmm. part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought mm -hmm. through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's true. I... Maybe I could show this guy a bunch of things. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. It's the guy who bombed the cafe. The clown. This man looks nothing like a clown. <laughs> He's taken off his grease paint and costume. Then there is nothing to link this man with the killing. Oh. Nothing? <laughs> Look at those murderous eyes. Hmm. <laughs> Hardly likely to get him convicted. Okay, we need to... Do you know a man named Khan? He's a shifty-looking guy with a scar on his left cheek. No, monsieur. Damn. Has this man any connection with the bombing of the cafe? Mm-hmm. Yes. I believe... Khan was the name he used when he hired the clown costume. We need to speak to the psycho detective is guy. Is Rosso here? Rosso. Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. I think we need to tell him what we know. Stobart is here to see you, monsieur. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. Very well. Okay, we're gonna go see him. This guy is weird though. 
this detective guy. Hi, Inspector. Remember me? <laughs> but of course, Mr. Stobard. My mind is a well-ordered faculty. A mental classification system that's the envy of the Bibliothèque Nationale. <laughs> no tricks, mark you, monsieur. Just exercise. Just as our muscles waste through inactivity, so our minds decay. Mm -hmm. But there is no need. If only people would learn to exercise their wits daily. <laughs> If he was trying to impress me, it worked. He was pompous and patronizing, but he had style. Eh bien, if you called about the bombing, you're too late. Hmm? Investigations have been closed. Huh? But I've been taken off the case. What? What about the murder, the dead guy? It is out of my who's, hands. What? Well, who's doing it now? Don't you want to know what I found out about the killer? I told you, monsieur, oh, the case is closed. Oh, come on. I have washed my hands of the whole affair. Wow. Then I'll have to continue my investigations without your help. No. You must forget the business no. of the clown completely. Go back to being an ordinary tourist, Stobard. I think what Nicole said is right. It is a conspiracy. They're covering up something. Did you find out the ID of the guy who was killed in the explosion? I already knew who he was. I heard that the bomb victim's name was Plantow. Your sources are reliable. He was a big shot at the treasury, wasn't he? Maybe that's why you've been taken off the case. I'm sorry, monsieur. Mm. I cannot comment. Yes. What was that psycho detective business you did in the cafe? It is my theory that the passions evoked in violent crimes create ripples in the ether. Invisible to all but the possessor of a highly developed and receptive mind. I'm impressed. Can you bend mm. spoons, too? <laughs> I didn't think a man of your obvious intelligence would stoop to mockery. I'm not mocking. I've had personal experience of the power of the mind. I used to get ignored at parties <laughs> until I read a book that changed my life. Really? <laughs> what was it called? Hypnotism for fun and profit. He looked at me as if I'd farted at a funeral. <laughs> the power of mesmerism is a rare gift, not a party trick. I wonder if that's got any connection to the flower lady. You're not going to try any of that psychic interrogation on me, are you? Do you find the thought of my probing distasteful? <laughs> Let's just say I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> I've got more doubts than doubting Thomas when it comes to mysticism. Too bad. I think you would make an interesting subject under controlled regression. The day I let anyone mess with <laughs> my mind hasn't dawned yet. Why has this investigation closed? It definitely is a conspiracy. They have closed it off. They have bribed the police or something like that. And I still have to find out the killer on my Do you own. you recognize the man in this photograph? No. It's the face of a killer. Mm. The man who bombed the cafe? The photograph was taken soon after the explosion. He'd escaped through the sewers, leaving a trail of clues behind mm -hmm. him. Circumstantial evidence, Stobard. None right. of it proves a thing. I'm not going to get any help from the police. Well, this guy is no help, but I would like to shake his hand. Would you care to shake my hand, Inspector? Please don't be oh. offended if I decline your offer, Stobard. <laughs> the palms of my hand oh, I are see. particularly sensitive. Um, so long, Inspector. I'm by myself. I can't get any help from anyone else. Oh, geez. Well, I'm going to the hotel by myself if the police have stopped searching for the killer. Oh, this is an interesting place. I can go around the back. I'm guessing they're not going to let me in, are they? There's two strange characters out here. What's this guy? Excuse me? Yes? Who are you? Do you know a man by the name of Khan? No, I don't. It's very important I get to see him, and... I told you, I don't know him. Right. I'm looking for a clown. Are you trying to be funny? <laughs> no, I really am looking for a clown. There are no clowns here except you. <laughs> Rude, okay. 
Have you heard of a guy called Plantar? No. That name means nothing to me. I'm not going to find anything. Do you recognize the guy in this photograph? No. I never saw him. This guy has offered Forget nothing. It. What about this other guy? I reckon he's going to be just as helpful. Excuse me. Yeah. Wow. He doesn't seem friendly. Do you happen to know a guy named Khan? That ain't nobody I know. <laughs> I'm sorry to be a burden on your brain. <laughs> okay. You ever meet a guy called Plantow? No, I ain't. You missed your chance. If you're quick, you'll catch him at the coroner's. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? No, I ain't. Don't tell me I missed him. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I love the clowns, don't you? No, we've I've been through this. I've seen daytime television that was funnier. I love it when the little guys get hoit. <laughs> that figures. Hoit. Custard pies. Hose pipe down a pants. Then smack. <laughs> a plank in the kisser. Oh, dear. Do you recognize the guy in this photograph? Is this a trick question? No. I simply asked if you recognized him. Okay, then. No, I don't. Do you recognize this tissue? Think carefully now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to have to hurry you. <laughs> Ooh. Eh, time's up, so I'll tell you. It's a used tissue with a liberal dump of Bestheimer's number 12. If you what think the so. Hell? I want to shake this guy's hand. Shake my hand? Nah. <laughs> oh, rats. Okay, so both see these guys were Not absolutely if you see useless. me first. I know I can go around the back or I can go in. I'm going to try going in first, but I reckon that'll get me nowhere, so I'll have to go around the back. I think. Oh, look at this lovely room. I figured the lady at the keys wouldn't appreciate a duet with a musical illiterate like me. <laughs> There's a phone. I can go upstairs. Hi there, ma'am. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. You disappoint me, my dear. <laughs> for one foolish moment, I thought. But never mind. <laughs> Aren't you going to tell me your name? Uh, George. George Stobart, ma'am. How sweet. <laughs> I once had a stable boy called George. I am Lady Piermont. Piermont. The common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not obligatory. I don't think so. A real lady? I mean, you're an honest-to-God aristocrat? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Few of my ancestors are honest, not even to God. <laughs> I can trace my family back to the Normans, but don't let that intimidate you, George. Beneath that impressive pedigree, I'm just... Flesh and blood. Mm. The blood may true. be blue, but the flesh is the plump beef of old England, <laughs> so to speak. You appear distracted, George. Is there any way I can help you? Yes, definitely. I'm looking for Khan. I'm looking for a murderer. Good heavens! You're a private detective. That's correct, ma'am. <laughs> What's the term you Americans use? It's on the tip of my tongue. I believe what you're thinking of is Dick. Precisely. <laughs> Have you come across a man who calls himself Khan? I am familiar with only one person named Khan. Okay. Genghis, Genghis Khan, Khan, the legendary Mongol barbarian chieftain? No, darling. Kevin. Kevin Khan? I never heard of him. I'd be most surprised if you had, darling. He's a pharmacist in Hemel Hempstead. Is this our guy? What? Organizes fundraising for the Rotarian. <gasps> Lovely man. No, Does that's... he have a scar on his cheek? I really wouldn't know, sweetie. <laughs> Damn. Did you know there's a gangster out front? <laughs> what makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket? I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. That doesn't necessarily make them gangsters. Oh, lady, you're no help. Are you here in Paris on vacation? No, darling, I'm on holiday. The same thing. I needed to get away after Algy's <laughs> funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not. He was my husband. <laughs> She's funny. I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. <laughs> it gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. 
Paris, she said. The world romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. <laughs> well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken <laughs> Breton chef. I must say I was disappointed with his cocker van. Not at all what I was expecting. I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back mm. to Hemel Hempstead. That was until last night. Yes, what happened last night? What happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has oh. cleft my bosom. They couldn't really miss. It was <laughs> just as I'd always imagined it should be. Okay. The intimacy of candlelight. Romantic music tinkling across the room. And then, a stranger's glance. I bet glance. it's that Khan, right? Those brooding eyes, that suave manner, those tight trousers. He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. I'm glad he finally turned up <laughs> after all these years. Just when her oh, husband is dead, right? He was merely toying with my affections. And if I ever catch up <laughs> with him, he's dead. I wonder if he's that planter guy. Who was the guy who led you on? His name is Merlin. Merlin, okay. Never heard of that guy. Do you know what this is? I'd guess. I'd say it was a clown's nose. That's right. It was worn as a disguise by a vicious killer. Mm -hmm. Good heavens, are you trying to alarm me? It's true. <laughs> he uses the name Khan. Does she know the guy in the photo? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? My <gasps> God, it's him! That's Merlin! Oh, wow. She represented wow, everything wow. I loved about the English. <laughs> the lady was totally deranged. Merlin? You mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no! Yes, yes. Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. Mm -hmm. He's the man I've been telling you about. That's the man who spurned me. Right. Wow. The man you know as Merlin is a fake. Yep. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. I am shocked, <laughs> Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman. A man of honor. Do you know, I'd rather like to assist <laughs> you in stitching him up. So tell me what room he's in. I'll take it from there. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour oh, ago. Oh, wow. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Mm -hmm. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. Okay. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, papers. perhaps. Papers. Okay. The clerk put it in the hotel <gasps> safe and Merlin went out. I have to get to that safe. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Hmm. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. Definitely. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantow's briefcase. Mm -hmm. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? Yes, if, if I, I can. If I could get in there, I would. Yes. I reckon I need to go out the back. I have to go, ma'am. Okay, that's very interesting. Merlin is here in his hotel. Merlin slash Khan slash crazy clown killer. I want to get into his room and get those papers. Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? Huh? Who is that guy? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some oh, unpronounceable wow. Eastern European <laughs> state. Yes, that is me in person. I don't want to worry you, but have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines <laughs> cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. Hang on. Is that the guy that's going to die next by the pixie? Have you seen a clown? I beg your pardon? <laughs> the clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My pants are from England. <laughs> Marks and Spencer. They are a pleasure and a comfort to wear, <laughs> with much support. I'm real glad to hear that. You know, it's good to know you Nobel Prize winners <laughs> are human too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg cartoons. For pants? For huh? pants? <laughs> For everything. Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. Okay. Do you know a guy called Plantow? I don't know anybody in Paris. Oh, 
Well, this guy's dead anyhow. <laughs> Why do you ask me about dead men? I have seen enough of death to last Aww. me a lifetime. I'm uh, sure you have. <laughs> this game is so funny. I wonder if he recognizes that do guy. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Yes, I know this man. Mm -hmm. Why do you carry his photograph? I'm a private detective. This is a photo of Khan, right? That is just one of the names by which he is known. Okay. He knows a lot, this guy. What's your interest in Khan? He is an enemy of my people. Okay. You know he's a killer. Of course. What? Among other things. Would you help me investigate Khan? That is not possible. My instructions are to observe. It's weird. I okay. cannot jeopardize my position as an honored guest of this country's government. So he knows all about Khan, that he is a murderer. Right. Well, thanks for your help. This is, Goodbye. we're getting somewhere now. We know all about Khan. I need to go and... I need to get into those drawers to get the papers. There's a key. Surely I just can't take the key. As if. Excuse me, <laughs> monsieur. What? <laughs> you were trying to steal that key. No. No way. <laughs> this is so funny. There was no one registered under the name of Khan. Hmm. If the killer was staying here, he'd used a different pseudonym. Definitely. What about Merlin? Did you check that, buddy? I want some information. Who are you? The police? I'm conducting a private investigation. Ah, I know only too well what you mean. That is one of the drawbacks of the catering business. Catering? When people book into an hotel, they leave their morals at home. Huh? What's he going on about? Oh, I've got lots of things to talk to him about. I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. <laughs> this is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. Right. You say so. What about this guy in the photo? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, monsieur. That man is one of our guests. What name? <laughs> I cannot tell you that. Oh, come on, I'm a private investigator. Can you tell me which room the man in the photograph is taken? Oh, no, it monsieur. Won't. That information is confidential. Damn. Would it make a difference if I told you the guy in the photo was a murderer? We are accustomed to catering for celebrities, <laughs> monsieur. Movie stars, right. politicians, royalty, sporting personalities, they all stay here. Damn, I need that key. About the key hanging on the hook over there. <laughs> oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. Maybe I could stay there. I'd like to retrieve something from your safe. Ah, oui, monsieur. <laughs> May I see some form of identification? No. Uh, like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport. I don't have it with me. I could show you my operation scar. I'm what? sorry, monsieur. <laughs> the sky I must is so have weird. some form of unique ID. You won't find a more unique <laughs> ID than my scar. I'm sorry. I must insist on a more traditional identification. Rats. I'd like to check into room 21. That is not possible. Why? How come? You said it, it was vacant. Clean. It is reserved oh, for another guest. I see. Rats. Damn. No, monsieur. Dutch. Oh, Thanks this for guy your help, buddy. hasn't helped that much. I don't think I'll be able to go up the stairs. He won't let me. Okay. So even though I'm not checked into the hotel, I can go up the stairs. Oh. Did they say the second door? Is that what I remember correctly? From something? The door was locked. Okay. I... None of these doors will be open. The door was locked. I'm going to have to go around the back and, like, climb up the hotel, I think. The door was locked. Right. Well, around the back we go. Hey. 
Just a minute, monsieur. What does that guy want? What's your problem? No problem. If you cooperate. Huh? What do you want? Just a routine security check. Nothing what? to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Uh-uh. Search him, Flap. No. What are they doing? Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape. What is this? Nothing, Guido. Zilch. No, I don't Out have apart. anything. What? I ought to report you to the authorities. What are they doing? We are the authorities. You want I should break <laughs> his arms? No. Let him go. Let him. What are they doing? What's the purpose of that? Hey, Shorty. I didn't think much of your trick, little man. No. I don't know what you're looking for, but you picked on the wrong guy. Maybe you'll spread the word around the sewers. George Stobart is on the case. That's oh, don't say Stobart. your name, Two dude. B's and two T's. It sounded two impressive T's. to me, but the weasel didn't seem to share my enthusiasm. Still, I figured he'd think twice before gunning me down <laughs> in the street in cold blood. I do not like your tone. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do about it? If you do not go away, <laughs> I will gun you down in cold blood right here in the street. Without thinking twice about it. <laughs> Wonderful. That's just fantastic. Forget it. Jeez. Excuse me. Yeah? Don't you think you have some explaining to do? Huh? <laughs> I'm an American citizen and a bona fide visitor to your country. What the... You can't touch me up in the street and expect to get away <laughs> with it. Get lost, creep. Oh my god. Jeez. Well, I do want to see what's out the back. I reckon we need to get up the hotel wall somehow. I mean, if I was Nathan Drake, I wouldn't have a problem. Okay, there's lots of things here that we can have a look at. There's drain pipes, bricks to climb up, there's a locked and padlocked door. There is nothing that I can do around the back here though. But I am pretty sure this is what we need to do. But there's just nothing that I can do here currently. Hmm. I'll talk to this lady again. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Oh. Nice, the key. Would you distract the clerk <gasps> while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. <laughs> Scouts or not? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. <laughs> what were your parents thinking of? It's Will a fine it? way for a boy to get licked into shape. Now tell me, why do you want to get into that room? I'm hoping it's the key to Merlin's room. Well, mm. how can nice. I refuse? Yes. I shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case, but a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. Nice. Fantastic. Oh, we're getting somewhere. This is good. This is good. I see! You there! Flunky! <laughs> we, oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I okay. understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madame. Right, that's her little Over jewelry. to you, my dear. All right, quick, get the key, get the key. Thank you. Nice, we've done it. I was kind of feeling a bit stuck there, but I'm so glad we managed to do that. 
I am going to leave that there now, but the next time we pick this up, we're going to go into that middle room, as I'm pretty sure that's the room that Khan slash Merlin slash Killer Clown, soon to be Pixie guy, is. But this is really fun! I'm loving it! I haven't really been stuck with what to do so far, as I think these little point and click kind of games are just right up my alley. I feel very mostly confident with knowing what to do. It's actually really fun and it's delightful. There is a lot of story here. This particular game I found out you can play for about six or so hours. So yes it's an old game but there's so much to do in here and it's just a real pleasure to play. It's funny, it's entertaining. I quite like the characters that we are meeting. They are very unique with such entertaining personalities. George is, he's cool. I like him. I hope that things work out for him here. Maybe he gets together with Nicole. Maybe he will be able to uncover the killer. However, the police are no longer searching for the killer. They've been put off the case. I think there is definitely some sort of conspiracy happening for sure. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye.